Joe Lysett is one of the funniest comedians on TV, and he now graces our screens each Friday night with his very own show, Late Night Lysett. The 34-year-old Brummy, also known by the self-given moniker Mummy, has come a long way in showbiz since bursting onto the scene with his popular stand-up shows. A natural in front of the camera, the much-loved comedian began making appearances on 8 out of 10 Cats, Chi, and never mind the Buzzcocks before becoming the host of the Great British Sewing Bee. Now each Friday night, Joe presents live from his hometown of Birmingham for a lineup of madcap games and hilarious sketches, all while being joined by celebrity guests. Although Joe details some parts of his life for his comedy routines, little is known about what he gets up to when the cameras stop rolling, with his love life shrouded in mystery. Over the years, the comedian has remained tight-lipped on his relationship status and it's currently not known whether he is loved up or single. He has however been open about his sexuality. Joe describes himself as pansexual, which means he is attracted to people of all genders and sexes, after initially coming out as gay in his teens, then backtracked when I thought I had closed off the market a bit. His parents have always been supportive of his LGBT status, but his mum worried I might get more problems in life because of my bisexuality but I think people are more liberal now. Speaking to the I newspaper in 2016, Joe said, I say bisexual because it's easy for people to understand but I actually don't quite think it's that. Pansexual seems to be the closest thing at this point. In the sense that, what him attracted to changes depending on intangible things. Sometimes you just look at someone's thighs and think, oof, god, yeah, but the other parts don't appeal to you. It's not entirely to do with gender, it's to do with where you're at, your upbringing and the kind of person you are. It's really complicated, like life is. The comedian frequently refers to his pansexuality as part of his stand-up routines but has experienced vile homophobic heckles a few times in his career. He explained, when it's happened in gigs I've been so excited by it. I get defensive about it because I don't like homophobia but I also don't consider myself to be gay. So, it's a case of, you're wrong but you're so wrong you haven't even touched the surface of how wrong it is. It's a real fish in a barrel opportunity to really kick off. In the past, Joe has admitted to not putting enough effort into his love life amid focusing on his busy work schedule, and has even gotten cross over his low sex drive. I'm not looking for a partner, I don't feel like Terry's an emptiness there, he told The Mirror in 2019. When I'm working, my libido is so low I'm not fussed. Then the minute I stop working I think, I'd love a cuddle, but then because I've not done any of the work to initiate a cuddle, nobody wants a cuddle. I need to do some forward planning. At Christmas I got frustrated because I'd just finished work on the tour and I had nothing to do and I thought, it'd be nice to have a cuddle, and there was somebody I was pursuing a bit and I spent lots of nights going out getting pee ed, then nothing happened and then you think, I did all that then nothing. I got cross with my libido, I was like, let's just chop the thing off. Back in 2015, Joe revealed to Attitude magazine that he had tried dating app Tinder but to no avail. He said, I've tried Tinder. I'm not a very sexual kind of person. I'm emotional. Joe went on to describe his perfect partner, adding, someone to lie there with eating chocolate. That's the dream. Late Night Lysit returns tonight on Channel 4 at 10pm.